I buy some 8 inch block. See them there? Try that. We've never seen 8 inch block before. What I going to do is the partition for the shower where the niche is going to be, I'm going to lay them there right there so as a partition and I'm going to cut out about half of the wall and do a niche. I'm going to do a niche with a glass case, you can draw the glass case, so that's why I'm going to buy the big blocks. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Getta Payne and you're watching Building a Jamaican Home Series. So one of the things that we discussed in a mixed moods and gratitude meeting, we discussed how we are going to solve the problems for the water cycling and the house stop. So right here, so at this specific spot, right here is leaking and that's right over the door. And then right here is leaking and that's right over the weird window so what i did between yesterday and this morning is to bore a hole right here so and this is on the outside i'm gonna just sweep off the water into the hole and clean up the whole stuff so i'll put a temporary solution by putting a pipe in that hole there so it project out and the water will run down from the wall and right now the wall and then I'll just put a temporary patch right there so i clean up the area and patch it out with some cement. I'm gonna mix up some mortar today. See if we can manage black. Alright, we can manage black. Ahai! Ahai! But I'm look light here, we can carry all two one time. Yes, boy. Like soldier you grow. In the concrete jungle, no bees are blow And the river now flow When you buy one loaf of bread, we buy part of loaf Cause the money now flow The money now flow We say the money now flow No, no, no The grey skies blue Blue, blue Yeah, yeah, yeah Strider Out of the slums Leo G had asked a question if we fill out the black pocket with the electrical pipes. What we do is just cut out a space you know the third row block where the pipe runs up and just stuff it with paper. And just I go full up on top. I already pour it come down to about here so I know me just I go full up over it after I stuff it with the paper. And then after I finish flashing now, we just take out the paper, put in the thing. This one third row block. Pipe them here. 
I full up come up to a certain height. One plug will go up on the other side and one plug will come up on this side. Now I'm the foot row. After I fold them up, tie horizontal bar and then we can start lay upon it again. Four row right round the building. Then the horizontal bar already and cast up already, so that's why we go up on top of them. This one we plan to finish this morning. And look, mile seven ask about exterior blocks. So we use six inch right around for the exterior blocks in Jamaica. Only time we use it is when we are on a hillside. We're gonna use the eight inch for be for hold back anything if we run down. So right now me I use eight inch block in the shower area. I'm going to put up a niche right here. So here yeah, so the niche will come with lighting in at the back. And we choose to use the 8 inch block. So the front of the shower. And this is the back. This is the reason why you can't really put down mortar. Can not see it up a bit? can't really put down mortar so you skim off top. Of them something yeah. because after a while sun dry it out and then hole comes here for make at least two inch out of concrete I forgot so for solve my leaking problem now you know, wouldn't believe this my bus a hole underneath it and put a pipe in it for the water run off but up here so higher than the center so the water always go settle in at the center but I think about carrying up the material up here and mixing the cement on this side but it's easier for us to borrow the cement, borrow the material and throw it out down just and mix it up and carry it up here, bucket bucket and pour it off. So this now, I made up some material and I scrape up from where the chuck left, the chuck where slab off the roof. Then when them did have wash out the chuck, them did have some, I mean I know what it's called, but them did have some material inside of the chuck where them wash out the ground. It and the fiber and everything mix out and wash out the ground. But days after, when the water subsides from that, some powdery substance left in the, with the fibers and everything. I'm going to go they're gonna scrape it up and hope we could have used it one day. And now, we mix it back in some material, sand and cement, and mix it back in it. And we come put it down. And it looks like it really grips. And solid. Let me ask you, I don't know if you can see some fiber green or something. I'm gonna really see no whole lot of cracks in it. Have some crack right here, sir. Now, well, this is because of shrinkage still. Let me try to put about an inch and a half to an inch and a quarter and then slope it down. Because it's only two spaces was leaking. Half here, so it's over the window and over this, so over the door. Which part of the door there? Half here, so. Some of this, so. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so this is the wall where we are going to start on this morning. The lobster 112 asks, Oh, me know. So this end is level with the other end. Alright, lobster, so. It now fit level. You just want to know so it's straight and we start out with this corner we measure up how much blocks I go reach over them whether it's going to be half or it's going to be full then we lay it and we put it on it this is not really level but as you go along you have to try level it so as you can see right here so it's about three three eighths half of the block and the reason for that is because here so I got to be too thick. As you can see, yes, I want to chip, chip, chip off and I have to pad it up with material. And then I have to make sure the material not down in the concrete. Because if I just put it on top of the concrete and left it, it now go 
it's not going to stick and not going to stay. It's going to just easy for rock out as a bounce it. It's going to drop off so you have to knock it down into the concrete. And that's where it starts past the line. But that no matter still. You just lay it the same way you go across. And then the one will come on top now. You just put a little more mortar. You know, so you're not going to put a little, you're going to put a little less down there so and put more while you're going in the middle. And then you pat it down. If it's going to come closer to the line, it might not reach the line. And you just do it and go up and go up until it reaches the line and get it as level as I can. The main thing is to get it plumb. Get the plumb straight up. If it want slant or it want whatever, that doesn't matter. Because when you flash that, that's going to cover. You just want to see the plumb, the wall plumb straight up. So this is what we are going to work on this morning. And you will get to see. My matter, I always put it, make it about two inch thick and then pat down the black in it to little bit less than one inch and make sure I scrape it off before any drop of gum so when I put on the block when I put on the block I squeeze the block in and anything they on it I scrape it off scrape it off and then start knock down the block for level the block that's why I don't really use card line because card line is going to make it all over the place so I use the level straight across and level try to get the block as level as possible Feels it, knows it, that's why I'm so stressed out Strider Know me, I try my best, my life it's stress And everywhere my tone is like my life in a mess The system I press is like me can't get no rest My puffing on some sets to keep my mind in a the right context Can't trust concepts cause In a my soul, me feel all alone is like a sinking sand A deadlock zone, a chain around my feet and I feel like my bone to be poor and living on
So you know now with the line like this. Less malt up on this one and gradually add malt up more and more and then put less when you reach down with the corner. So this is why I don't really like card lines. Alright, so this is it now. You see, like how this line was not straight, even though it appears straight. When you look at the top of it, you see these blocks, Ilangoli, and you try to get the ones at the top as straight as possible. And then over that now, you try to get them the back as straight as possible. Okay, you see, this is a sink down, so like a V, a valley, and you try to get the top one over it as straight as possible. And then that one is going to be the fourth row block. I'm going to start casting the block packet. That I'm try to get it as straight as possible. Alright, so like this side, if you take it itself, all place in a darkness. But if there is a will, there is a way. So, we'll have them two row left. So now I have just a few here left. I'm just going to run power bank 
and light. You see me, see me just run off them two rows and come go to my bed. Four sun, five gravel. I make this go and marinate. Now what is sky? The place look bleaky but the sky clear. So I'm gonna go and watch the sky and make this go and marinate a little bit. Now if I'm living in the Portmore area, I you know I so said this I'm call it potted. In other way. I knocked that one year around already. All you have to do is just give this a little tap and make it go around the pipe. So it's cards are out of my way now. But this is going to be in the way. So maybe just knock this. This is on the top. Knock it, let it go around a little. And go out of the way. Yeah. 
Tear Cream.